This is a tutorial on how to make my record generating machine. I've made this one a little bit different than the last one that you might have seen. And it's going to have a little bit more space. So here the uh, archer can shoot the creeper. And if the creeper does get hit and doesn't have enough health to die, he should get knocked back far enough that he stops sizzling and doesn't blow up. Hopefully it works. If not, it's kind of a useless feature. I have a bigger. I can just take this out and have two hallways down each side. Um, what I'm planning on doing here is this. These doors are going. I'm going to show you how to do the redstone for them because somebody wanted to know a tutorial. That's the only thing that's really difficult about this. You're going to need some materials. You're going to need a, about a stack of redstone. I don't have that much right now, but hopefully it's enough. You're going to need uh, some cobblestone, some sticks, this to make the redstone torches, and to make the levers you're going to need. You're going to need some glass, and you're going to need some material to build the whole thing with. Alright, I'm going to pause the video now, and then I'm going to start showing you how to wire it. Alright, so step one, you're going to put a lever next to those two back doors, and you're going to put one empty block and redstone on top of that block there. When you turn the lever, it should light up if it's done correctly. You might have to put the levers sideways like mine are because I tried putting them the other way and for some reason it wasn't working. I've never seen that glitch happen before, but if it happens for you, just try putting the levers sideways like this. So when it's turning on and off on both sides, then you're ready to go on to the next step. I'll pause and set up the next step and then show you how it's done. Okay, step two is now done. When you turn the lever, the first door should open, and this is how you set it up. That redstone just stays right there. You build a block next to it, and then you put a torch. This is this under the door. So this torch should be directly under that door, and the door will then open and close at the pull of the lever. I've done it on both sides, as you can see. Same thing just that block there and the torch underneath okay I'll pause and show you the next step alright I've done the next step as you can see this door now both of them open and both of them close properly so I'm gonna show you how to wire it on this one this one's not working correctly as you can see one of the doors is doing the opposite of what it should be that's what's gonna happen if you just wire them directly so if you see this torch that's under the first door, I'm come bridging wires off of that. So this wire comes down and hits this torch over here. It, it hits this block, which the torch is under, also under the door. And this one does the exact same thing on the other side. Now, which one door is not paying attention is the one we have to add something to. It's very easy. All you have to do is look. So it's the left door on this side that is not working. So I go in and it's this wires this wire right here is not working. So I just wait till this is straight. So after the corner, I break a block and put another block there and then break one of these two and stick a torch on there. And now if I go back up, it'll work perfectly. So all you have to do, very simple, just wire straight from that torch to both sides and then just add that one block and the one torch to whichever side is doing the opposite of what it should be. And these torches just have to be diagonal. They can't be next to each other like there and there because there's no easy way to give signals next to each other because if these wires touch they'll interfere with each other. So I just did it one over here and one over there. Anyways, um, I'll pause and show you the next step. Okay, now that we have everything wired, we need to build this middle hallway. As you can see, I've already laid out the foundations of everything. So this room is going to be the room we catch a skeleton in. This room is going to be the room we catch a creeper in. Get this pig out of here. And all we have to do is bait them in using our already set up lever system. And then we have to make a central hallway. Now, this one is got five spaces. 
This only needs three. You can do it with three. It only has to be one hallway each side. A one uh, block hallway. So the difference in this one is I want it, the creeper to be able to get hit by the skeleton and get knocked back so that just in case the creeper has more health than I was expecting, he'll get pushed back a bit and probably not blow up. I'm not positive it'll work that way, but I might have to make it one bigger to make that effect happen, but either way, it doesn't really matter. You can just make a murder hole by digging down and then digging out this block and building over it. The creeper will not see you and you can hit it through the murder hole. So once you're done building this hallway, uh, you should put glass on the top so you can see them. And then build this hallway all the way to the end here with glass. And then when you've got them in the rooms, you just walk to the end upstairs on top of it. You walk to about here and they should both come into the hallway. When you see them in the hallway, you just run down here. They follow you. Of course, you're up there. And then you jump down to this hole. Skeleton shoots the creeper. Ta-da, record. Uh, you should see my other video if you don't know what I'm talking about. And uh, that's it. Just finish building, and I'll show you the fi final product. All you got to do is build walls and rooms. They can be as high as you want. One thing I forgot to mention is that you need to fill so that they can't jump over to each other. You need to fill like this. So they can still see each other, but they can't hop up here. And just build this out of glass, I recommend, so that I see them easily. Whoops. That was a waste of glass. So when they come into this hallway, they'll uh, be fully visible and whatnot. And you have to get the torches out of here or they won't they won't be able to get by them. Okay, so just finish building your structure and then see how it works. Alright, here's the finished product. I made a big staircase here which is totally unnecessary. It's just to make help me get down after I catch them. It's the back staircase you need to get up after you catch them. I'm showing everything is still working so um, leave them open and then wait for night and I'll show you guys that once I've caught them how it works but yeah that's the finished product I ran out of glass here so it looks kinda stupid but um, I'm actually gonna experiment live on this so you'll see whether or not the two bricks here and two here is enough for a skeleton to kill a full HP creeper. If not, you're gonna see a, a big crater where all this used to be. So yeah, I'll show you when it works. Okay, this is not going very well. I'm having kind of a rough night. I'm surrounded by zombies. There's a zombie that got in with the creeper and uh, well, the sun's about to come up and fry my skeleton. So, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. I have to try and kill the zombie who's in with the creeper before I do this, I think. And then uh, there's also a zombie chasing me, but hopefully I can avoid him. And I don't have much health, so if I die, then I'll have to pause it again. But hopefully you can see how this works. Alright, here goes nothing. the sun one more yeah there we go all right there you go <laughs> well hope you enjoyed that and I hope you've uh, you're able to make your own now if you have any questions just ask